the wheels have well and truly fallen off for Labor. So much so, the Prime Minister's own cabinet is leaking to the media against him for the second time in just two months. And we've seen this all before with Labor, and it never ends well. I'll have more to say about this shortly. But where is the Prime Minister? Has anybody actually seen this man? <laughs> you know, the one who loves a freebie, the one who apparently loves a concert, and also loves to be front row at the tennis, but ultimately the one who really loves the good life. Because it seems as though he's been in hiding since this disastrous press conference on Tuesday where he was asked about Qantas upgrades. Did you ever call Alan Joyce directly for these upgrades? And if you did, do you think that's appropriate given you had positions? Well, you can't just... There, there, is, there, there is no accusation being made with any specifics at all about any of this. None. 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 Well, guess what? This afternoon we actually found him spending time with Australia's Sikh community, wearing a turban, even taking selfies, but ultimately hiding from the media and the rest of the country. Now, Albo has not fronted up since that shocking press conference, instead releasing a statement on Wednesday night, five days after reports first surfaced, denying he asked former Qantas CEO Alan Joyce for upgrades. But we are still none the wiser as to how those upgrades occurred or even to this comment. Look, the, the, the idea Qantas have a, uh, a, a number in terms of bookings uh, that are private bookings. Who made the phone call and who answered? So many unanswered questions. And with the Prime Minister now in hiding, it's been left to his ministers to fix his mess. If you've been in Parliament for a long time, you want to make sure that you go through all those records that are more than a decade long. And he's done that. And that's the difference between the Prime Minister and Peter Dutton. He had his office assiduously go through his records so that he could be completely confident to the Australian people in saying what he said. He did not uh, make any contact with Alan Joyce, which was the allegation. Well, now Labor has a new problem, one that we have seen before. Albanese's own cabinet has started backgrounding against him, going to journalists to effectively gossip and bitch about their own leader months out from an election. On Wednesday, Albanese held a meeting with his ministers in Melbourne to try and smooth out the flight perk saga. According to the Daily Telegraph, the PM took aim at what he perceived as unfair media scrutiny and insisting the matter would soon calm down. Talk about a glass jaw. But his attempts to pass the blame didn't quite bode well with his colleagues. One told the Daily Telegraph Albanese seemed oblivious to the fact he had a growing perception problem based on how he had let the upgrades drama drag on all week. His colleagues described his explanations as a, bit of, as a bit of a whinge rather than a clear plan for how to deal with the issue and get the government back on message. Another said the week had been a mess for Labor and that they had little hope the Qantas furor would have died down by the time Parliament resumed in Canberra next week. And how's this for a nail in the coffin? One colleague said of Albo, he's institutionalised and has worked out how to extract every bit of free shit. What did I say? The wheels are falling off. When Cabinet starts leaking against the leader, you know something is wrong. And this is not the first time there's been a leaky Cabinet. We found out in September that the PM vented his frustration in Cabinet over the mishandling of Australia's next census, complaining that new questions about a person's gender identity were inappropriate and he had to step in to fix the problem. And that was according to three sources in the room who spoke to nine newspapers on the condition of anonymity. One even said, quote, Albanese had left Richard Miles, Jim Chalmers and Murray Watts swinging in the wind as the trio had publicly backed his initial captain's call to dump all the proposed census questions. Now, Cabinet is meant to be a confidential meeting, key word there being confidential. 
as soon as we start finding out exactly what's going on at the cabinet table, it's not good. And we've seen this all before in the Rudd-Gillard-Rudd years, where Kevin Rudd admitted to being behind at least one damaging leak designed to destroy Julia Gillard's character and cripple her prime ministership before the 2013 coup, which saw her toppled. Now, I'm not suggesting that anyone is about to topple Anthony Albanese, but this close to an election, to have this backgrounding, it's clear things are not going well let alone being described as a sook by your own colleagues, despite Labor's assurances today that everything is OK. As someone who's known Anthony for a very long time uh, and worked closely with him, uh, the last thing I'd call him is a sook. You know, every now and then someone shows a bit of ill discipline, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to pay much attention to it. We're focused on our job. What's your message to colleagues who are leaking against the Prime Minister? Well, knuckle down. Eh, knuckle down. Good luck with that. And now the Prime Minister is blaming the media for the Qantas saga? Please. Just like he blamed the media for the voice defeat. Just like when he blamed his mode of transport for failing to be across details. Uh, I've been travelling in the car, uh, so I, I'm not, uh, I haven't been uh, advised about that. And again... Have you had any contact with the Iranian ambassador following those strikes overnight? Uh, no. Will I've, you? Well, I, I've been here in Melbourne, um, so uh, 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 no, I have not. Yes, it is always somebody else's fault, isn't it? And you know what that actually suggests? Albanese is indeed a sook who gets defensive then hides when things are not going well. Did he run for the top job for the people or for the perks? It seems it was for the latter. Because Albo's life has certainly improved, but can't say the same for many Aussies.